Hi everybody, we're here today in Central Ohio. We're at the Cross Creek Camping Resort. It's a beautiful resort, it's won a lot of awards, and we're here to find out why. We got a chance to sit down with the owner, Steve Cross, to tell us more about it. Steve, the first thing uh, I'd like to do is to welcome you to RVTV, and I'd like you to, to tell our viewers, where in the world are we? We're at, uh, where is Cross Creek Camping Resort? We're actually, I like to say we're in Columbus, Ohio, but it's a Delaware, Ohio address. We're five and a half miles from Polaris, which is one of the biggest malls in the state of Ohio, really. And there's like 126 restaurants, so it's really kind of cool because we're only five and a half miles, but we're at the Allen Creek State Park. You know, there's a 3,000 acre lake around us, so it's very big. I mean, it's, it's close to town, but it's out. Now, let me get you to tell me a little bit about the park. It's quiet and peaceful and beautiful and clean, very, very clean. Yeah, you know, we, we really try to cater to all ages, but it's, it's a family-oriented park, and there's no doubt about that. We, are, we have themed weekends in the summertime, like we'll have a Disney weekend, a Luau weekend, a Pirates weekend, things like that that really appeal to the kids. We have one of the largest pools in the camping industry, and because of that, we have a lifeguard, and we have a lifeguard at all times, so it can give people the feeling of confidence that their kids will be safe there. On when it's real busy, we even have two lifeguards, so it makes the people feel good, I think. And what else do you have over by the pool area? Oh, we have every activity. I mean, we have tennis, basketball, shuffleboard, horseshoes, volleyball. With anything you want to use, we, we loan to you at no charge. We have lots of walking trails in the woods. They're really nice because they're also attached to the state park here. We have a nice store that is stocked with all the little food essentials that you might run out of. Um, we also have a lot of souvenirs and logo t-shirts and shirts and things like that in there. We're real proud of our little store. It's probably, again, one of the nicer stores in uh, campgrounds. We run the marina, which is just up the road here, and so we have combination packages where they can camp and go boating, and it's, it's a 3,000 acre lake, so there's skiing, unlimited horsepower, boating, it's, uh, there's a nice restaurant on the lake there. I mean, it's a beautiful area, I think, but yet it's not way out, like a lot of campgrounds that are far away from the city. When I look around the park here, um, uh, you know, it, it certainly uh, shows very well and you have a lot of uh, recognition for what you've done here. This, this past year we were awarded in Orlando at the National Convention, we were awarded the National Mid-Size Park of the Year by Arvik, the National Association. And I'm real proud of that. That was actually the second time we won the award. It's, it shows a lot of work and it's not just me, it's all my help and volunteers and workers that have put a lot of love and care into the place. Every year I add more trees. I go to a, a show in the convention center in Columbus and I buy their booths which are full of trees. It's from a landscape show and you know that really helps. Every year we add some more to it and you think in the beginning you'll never see these trees grow up but now I've been here 12 years and we've got some trees that are really nice big shade trees now. Now, uh, Cross Creek has been around uh, for a while. You've been the owner for 12 years. Yeah, I took it over 12 years ago. I had a lot of knowledge of the campground business, so and I was selling RVs at the time, and I didn't want the campgrounds to close because we need campgrounds, so that's why I took a heart to it. I've, I've loved it ever since. I mean, we've continued to make it grow and put more money into it, and it didn't have any paved roads or a dog park or any of these kind of things when I bought it, but every year we've improved it. <laughs> we even went so far we have our own little fire engine that we give fire engine rides. We limit it, we only do it on the holidays because you know we, we don't want it to get old. We give them a little fire engine hat, plastic hat for the kids and they just love it. 
And from what I see here today, you've got quite a diverse uh, group of, uh, of campers. Everything from travel trailers to fifth wheels to big motor homes. I was in the RV business for 30 years and I sold everything from tent campers clear up to motor homes, big motor homes, and I've never tried to discourage tent camping even because we feel it's important now. Most of our sites have at least water and electric on them, but most of the people even in tents today they got to have their battery charged for their cell phones and stuff. But then we also get, because of our high ratings and everything, we get a lot of the big Prevost buses and the, you know, $1.6 million you know, vehicles. Camping is so different from the hotel experience. I mean, we want them to enjoy the campfires and the, the camaraderie of the people getting together and having activities together and you know you don't get that at a, at a hotel and that's what I think is again another very important thing in the camping experience is you know that experience of getting together and meeting other people. Well even on a rainy day here at Cross Creek there's some fun to be had. Where else can you have a ride on a real fire truck? You're watching RBTV.